Oh, you gotta rewind it, buddy. You already did. I am Dr. Drew Conroy, professor of applied animal science at the University of New Hampshire. Once I get finished with my three minute tape, you will be convinced that I am not only ready for Survivor, I've been training for Survivor my whole life. I've traveled to five different continents pursuing this interest in cattle and oxen, taking me on some grand adventures. Recently, I gave a slideshow to my son's fourth grade. The fourth graders after my slideshow told my son that your dad is awesome. We've never met anybody that's avoided death from charging elephants, been attacked by baboons, and come home with more parasites than they could remember. I'm ready for Survivor. I was raised in the hills of New England on a dairy farm. I learned early on what my passions and interests were, and I've spent a lifetime following those interests. As a college professor, I teach what I want to teach, and I'm in charge of the classroom. As a college student, I learned early on that I didn't want to spend my time cooped up in a laboratory in some sterile environment working with test tubes. Instead, I learned that I enjoyed being in the field. I spent time interviewing farmers all over East Africa, spent time in Latin America doing the same. I prefer my lab to be the backwoods or the grasslands of some rural area, with my lab materials being a pencil, a pad, a backpack, little bug spray, some sunscreen, and a bottle of water. A Maasai warrior named Labulu Sakita once told me that the white man forgot how to walk when he invented the car. He and I had walked about 20 miles that day, and I asked him if that was the case, what am I doing out here walking with you? He said to me, you're not a white man, you're a white Maasai. I've never met a white man that would put up with a harsh bush environment like you can and walk all over northern Tanzania during the rainy season. I was offered blood as a sign of friendship. I wasn't going to be given a million dollars to drink blood. Small children have given me locusts as gifts. I've taken them gladly. I wasn't going to get a million dollars. I've drank milk that sat in a cow dung hut for a week in something called a calabash, and I was offered that as the house guest. I drank it. I wasn't going to win a million dollars. Survivor? I'm ready. I'm ready for survivor. My greatest accomplishment in life was finding a woman like my wife, Janet, who is willing and able to put up with my strong-willed nature, my need for adventure, and my travels all over the world. 